Hi there, good evening, and welcome to Thursday night story time. And um, yes, it's the final story time of the week. We hope you're well. Hope you've had a good day today. Have you been busy? Oh, turn that sound down. Have you had a busy day today? Uh, it's been a busy day in school today. I've had, uh, I've had, I've had lots of things on, including a meeting with uh, two people about our heating system still going on. Fortunately, it's a little bit warmer outside, although it's still very damp outside. So it's Thursday evening, our last story time for the uh, week. So let's have some fun, shall we, whilst we wait for people to gather. So this is the benefit of joining Story Time Live. I know probably more people watch Story Time, well definitely more people watch Story Time uh, after we recorded it uh, than live. But because it's Thursday night, so it's um, tonight the theme is animals. So our story's about animals tonight. And um, and I thought we could play the ABC game, right? So you're ready by your keyboards. So let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the alphabet A to Z when it's a go. And when so when we're on A, type an animal that begins with an A, and then click return. And if you're the first person to do it, you get a point. And we'll keep the points go as we go through. So we've got 26 animals, 26 letters of the alphabet. And, oh, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Wait a minute. New rules. So, when I say A, type in the name of the animal, click return. But if your animal is the same as somebody else's animal that pops up, you have to either share a point or get a whole point to the person with, their, with a, a new, different animal. So, for example, if we all said ant for A, and if there was four of us or five of us that said ant, we'd only get half a point. But if somebody said antelope, You'd get a full point. Right, we're ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, Rafa loves the ABC game. So, um, so A, let's go. See if you can type in an animal that begins with an A. Oh, where's my typing? Oh, I need to put my... Oh, well, I'm not going to win this. Oh, maybe I am. Aardvark! Well done, Mr Ewing. Look at that. Oh, we've got... <laughs> look, 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 look. There's, am I allowed to win? Yes, I am. That's very good. Look at that alligator. Aardvark as well. We've got another one. Um, oh, I'm, I think I misspelled Aardvark. Anteater as well. Well done. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. For, we'll take that one off the screen. And we're ready with our bees. Bees? No, don't do bees. I've given the game away now. Right, we're ready. Here we go. After three, B. One, two, three, go. Oh, I'm typing it in the wrong place again. Who's got there first? Bat! Whoa! Well done, Alavicious and Gabriel. You first there with... Look, everybody. There we go. Bat. Okay, let's move on to C then. Now we're ready. Wait for the countdown. One, two, three. An animal beginning with C. Hmm. Oh. Um, hmm. Uh, oh. Good one. Cats! Beat me to it! I was going to say... Crocodile! There we go, cat, well done to Jack. Got that one. So that's one point for... Oh, Peter, that's a good one, I hadn't thought of that one. Right, uh, so D and cow. <laughs> oh, sorry, shouldn't be making animal noises. Uh, D, A, after three, are we ready? One, two, three, go! An animal beginning with D. D, 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 D. Mm. I hope you're playing this as well, Mrs. Murray. Dinosaur! Ooh. Well, we didn't say that they had to be alive, did they? Um, dinosaur. I think dinosaur's a winner there, so let's put dinosaur up there. Well done, Tosh. Dog would also be a good one. Well done. Yeah, good one. Dinosaur. I like that one. Oh, oh, oh I love that one. Look at that, very original, Mrs. Murray. Oh, look at that one. Right, okay, so let's move on. So we've got A, B, C, D, E. Are we ready? After three, one, two, three, go. An um, 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 animal beginning with E. What have we got? What are you coming up? What are you typing? Can... Wait a minute. Still alive. 
Oh, we've got two elephants. What happened? What, where's mine gone? Three elephants. But I think Jack might have been first. And we get half a point for that, everybody. We'll give you a little triangle. Now. There we go. Oh, look at that one. There's an original one. Well done, Mrs. Murray. You get a whole point because you've got an original E. I'm ready with F, everybody. F, 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 F. Here we go. After three, one, two, three, go. F. F. Oh, thought one. Ah! I've, well done, Rafa. You were first up. Oh, there's lots of them. Look at that. Fox, frog, flamingo. Why couldn't I think of one? There uh, we go. Oh, I was going to say fish, but way too slow. Brain's not working. So, A, B, C, D, F, G. Are we ready? One beginning with G. After three. One, two, three, go. G. Oh, I've got one. Let's pop up first. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Wi-Fi. Go! Oh, <laughs> Rafa's done it at the same time. Well done, Rafa. Well done, Mr. Ewing. We'll give yourself a round of applause there. We'll put your up. Jack, you get one because your animal is original. Rafa and, and I get half a point each. So, A, B, C, D, F, G, H. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. An animal beginning with H. H, 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 H. Oh. Boy screaming. <laughs> That's good. We like a, a, a nice calm story time. Well done, Aloysius and Gabriel. You are first up there with horse. Fantastic. And Rafa, that's a really good guess. A hedgehog and Jack, it's a really good guess. Hippo, and we've got here as well. Oh, there's lots for um for each. A B C F G H I I I I. Ooh, I. After three, one, two, three, go. I. <laughs> mm. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Well done, Rafa. First up there with iguana. And I said, "Oh, look at that impala as well." That is a good one. I like that impala. I think you find an impala <laughs> iguana. So we've got a few iguanas there. Okay. What comes after each? G G G G G G. So. After three, one, two, three, G. 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 You're on fire, boys. Look at that. Jaguar will give you a <laughs> point for you after G. Jackal. That's a good one as well. Oh, you know your animals, folks. Jaybirds, I like it. Uh, right, okay, so what, let's move on to the next one. Uh, I, J, K, 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 K. K, where are we going to get our K from? Hmm, ooh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see, is he first? Am I first? Come on, come on, come on. It's taking its time, isn't it? Kangaroo, well done, Miss, I think. Oh, there's another kangaroo. There's a koala. We've gone down under for our animals. Koala, kangaroo, <laughs> kookaburra. Excellent. I love it. Um, so that's good. I hope you're keeping a score because I've lost count now. So next one, we've got an L after three. One, two, three. Go for it. An animal beginning with L. Llama, lion, lynx, very good, all very original ones, L, M, okay, let's move on to M, folks, let's move on, because we've got, um, we've still got half the, lemming, good one, we've still got, lemming, still got half the alphabet to go, so, after three, an animal, beginning with, M, 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 Here we go. Animal beginning with M. Mouse. Moose. Monkey. Mouse. Mouse. I like that. I like moose as well. Mink. 
we were it's fun. We were talking about minks today in the year three, four gu- bubble. Um, so very good. Okay, so that was M N N. You know what's coming the next one as well. So an animal beginning with N. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. N. N. Ninja. N. N. <laughs> a narwhal. Oh. I love it. A night ape and a narwhal. A narwhal. That is just fantastic. Um, oh, okay. Let's. You've got the point for those two. Night ape and a night ape. Never heard of that. And a narwhal. I've definitely heard of that. A night owl. Yeah, I've heard of them. I've got some children that are night owls, I think. Um, and oh, so an animal begin with O. Oh, one after three. One, two, three. Go. Let's get into the brain here. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Another name for bush baby. Oh, I've got it. Oh, of course, that was quick. And uh, octopus. Well done, octopus. Well done. I had, um, I came up, so that was good. Bush baby. Um, I hadn't thought of an octopus, of course. That's a clear one. Um, I thought of an orangutan. Right, so, oh, P. Are we ready? P. One, two, three, go. P. P. Oh. Oh. I thought of it. P. Octopus is a good one. Pango. <laughs> Somebody's got the encyclopedia of animals out or very good at remembering different kinds of Animals, that's great. A pangolin, a panda, a piranha, a penguin. Yes, of course. Very good. Okay, so penguin. Penguin. I love penguins and uh, and I like the animals too. Q, 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 Q. Can you think of an animal beginning with Q after three? One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Animal beginning with Q. Q, cool. Uh, oh yeah, um, uh, 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 uh. quail. I think that's a quail. Well done, Rafa. I think that's, that's a quail. Is that a quail? Quail. I was going to say quail. You get quail's eggs, don't you? Um, Trying to think of other quail cues. Uh, a quail. Anyway, we'll we'll we'll. I think we'll move on from Q. That's there's not many cues. That I can think of. R. How about R? It is quail. Well done, Rafa. R. Come on, everyone can get an, an animal begin with a R and an R, I'm sure. Uh, look at this one. There's one. Once it pops up, there we go. A rat, or as we affectionately know, a quokka, as affectionately we know them around our garden. Garden hamsters. A rooster, of course. Good one. And a reindeer and a rhino. I love it. A rattlesnake. Oh, the R's are very your raptors. Oh my goodness. You're very good at your R's. And um, people from St. Castle. So cool. Let's go. Okay, okay, enough for the R's. Let's move on to the next one. A rhino. Good one. Um S. After three. One, two, three, go. An animal beginning with S. A rat. That was a good one, Emily. Um, we call them garden hamsters round our way. Ah, S, right, so. Mm, uh, ah. Oh, squirrel, snake, very good. A snail, oh, of course, Mrs. Murray, a snail, because Mrs. Murray <laughs> loves snails, which keeps them in the nursery, giant African ones. And comes in specially to feed them during holidays. Sheep, all very good, all good S's. Next one's a T after three. One, two, three. An animal beginning with T. T. Oh, I've got one. T. If it pops up, is it coming? Is it coming? There we go. A tortoise, a turtle. We were thinking along similar lines there. Uh-huh. A terrapin, a toad, a T-Rex. Goodness me. Very, very good. Okay, here we go. This is a this is a more ch- a tiger, good one. This is a more challenging one. A U. One, two, three, go. U. 
an umbrella. It's not an animal. An upside down bat. Mm, a unicorn. Mm, a unicorn. An umbrella bird. An umbrella bird. A tarantula. Well done, Emily. An umbrella bird. I've never heard of an umbrella bird before. The things you learn on story time. That's an amazing one. Uh, okay, so you, uh, as to your V, V, have we got a V after three? One, two, three, go. V. Uh, oh. Yes to umbrella bird. Are you confirmed by the judge, the jury? Are you carry a vulture? Well done, Rafa. Again, ha vampire squid. My goodness, we get some exotic animals. A vulture. Yeah. Vampire squid. I'm not sure I like the sound of a vampire squid. Vampire bats, yes. Vampire bats would count. A, 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 a wildebeest. <laughs> very, very big animal. <laughs> very good, I like it. So let's move on to the next one, STUV. W, let's go W. Are you ready after three? One, two, three, go. Oh, shh. Sharp off the button there. W, 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 a whale, of course, good one. A walrus, a whale, a wolf, a water buffalo. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so UVW, X, this is a difficult one, an X, an X, X. Mm, can you think of an animal that begins with an X? Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, no, can anyone we'll give it a, we'll give it a, x-ray fish, XO, XO, is that an animal? XO, XO, x-ray fish, X, yeah, that's not the easiest one, is it? So we'll leave that one running, if you can come up with another one, and we'll need to check out XO, XO, um, and then we <laughs> a crayfish. Then we will we'll go to the next one, which is a Y. An animal will begin with a Y. Two left, Y, and then uh, so yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Is this real? Is it not real? An X-ray tetra. Good one. A yak. Good. Yes, a yak is an animal. A yeti. Who knows if a yeti is real or isn't real? A yak is definitely an animal. That is great. And so we just a yak, a yak, a yak, 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 yak. Yeah, let's move on to the final one then. It's a Z after three. One, two, three, go. You're too quick for me. Z. Can anyone come up with one that isn't the obvious one? Well done, Jack. Well done, Rafa. Well done, Emily. Well done, Emily. Zebra. Well done. That was good fun, wasn't it? A zebu! A zebu! Is that real, Mrs. Murray? Or are you making that up? A zebu. Well, I'll tell you why this we're sharing this um, the, the alphabet game in a moment or two. Because we have our story now to share. A, a yonki? A yonki? Um, we've got our story to share tonight. And... Um, I was going to read you a poem from the Book of Hopes that was about a hippo, a zonkey. <laughs> You're just making them up. But um, I don't think we've got time for that tonight because I have got a new book to share. So a couple of weeks ago, last week I think it was, or maybe the week before, we did one of the Oi stories. And um, tonight we've got... A new book called Oi Aardvark to share with you. And this is a lovely book. It was written during the um, COVID-19 outbreak last year. And uh, the author of this book, Kez Gray and Jim Field, have dedicated this to the doctors and the nurses and the volunteers and the shop workers and the delivery drivers who put their lives at risk to save and help others. And this is a Thursday night. We used to stand in their doorstep and applaud all of them. We're going to do Oi Advark tonight. This is a funny story. If you don't know it, I think you're going to enjoy it. It's from the series of book Oi books that have got Oi Frog, Oi Dog, Oi Puppy. 
um, oi cat, oi duck build platypus, and so on. And when we get into the story, you'll begin to understand why it was we were playing the alphabet game tonight. So here we go. Sit back, enjoy. Hot chocolate at the hand. And here we go. Oi, Advark. Oi, Advark, said the frog. Come and be in my new book. What new book? asked the Advark. Yes, what new book? frowned the cat. Um, it's called my all new alphabety body book, said the frog. It's for animals I haven't told where to sit yet. I'm going to start with A for aardvark and then go all the way up to Z. <laughs> Good luck with that, said the cat. What will aardvarks sit on, asked the dog. Aardvarks will sit on card sharks, said the frog. What's a card shark? frowned the cat. It's a shark who's really good at playing at snap, said the frog. B next, said the dog. What's an all new animal beginning with B? Baboon, said the frog. You should have asked the children at St Catherine's because you'd have been brilliant at this. Baboon, said the frog. Baboons can sit on balloons. And crocs, crocs can sit on clocks. Hmm. D next, said the cat. Now you need to think of an all new D. So this is an animal that hasn't been in any of the oi stories before. Dog, said the dog. Definitely D definitely begins with dog. D doesn't begin with dog. Dog begins with D, frowned the cat. And anyway, we've done dog before. Hmm. D. We haven't done donkeys, said the frog. Donkeys can sit on long keys. I wonder what eels could sit on, said the cat. Eels, eels can sit on reels. Elks can sit on whelks. And finches can sit on winches. <laughs> G. Giraffes can sit on baths, and gazelles can sit on bells. Hmm, I wonder what horses could sit on, said the dog. Have you got it? Could you work out what horses could sit on? Horses can sit on golf courses, said the frog. Horses can sit on golf courses. And iguanas, oh we had iguanas in our game, didn't we? Iguanas can sit on piranhas, we had piranhas too. J and K next, said the cat. Jays can sit on maize. Jerboas can sit, we didn't have them. Jerboas, look at their big ears, can sit on moors. And a kudu can sit on some doo-doo. Doo-doo, gasped the dog. Doo-doo, grinned the frog. Any new elves? sighed the cat. Llamas. Llamas will sit on pyjamas, and lynx will sit on drinks with them. Frog's really good at writing uh, alphabet body books, isn't he, said the dog. <laughs> he hasn't got to Z yet, said the cat. Because remember, he's got to choose animals that haven't been in any of the other books. So here we go with M, mosquitoes. They will sit on burritos. Do you like burritos? Nits will sit on banana splits. Uh, otters will sit on swatters. There's an otter sitting on a fly swatter, just out of the picture there. And orcas will sit on piggy porkers, said the frog. Frog's brilliant at this, said the frog, said the dog. Wait till you hear my new peas, boasted the frog. Possums, we didn't think of possums, did we? Possums will sit on blossoms. Pigeons will sit on widgeons. Pangolins, we had that one. Pangolins will sit on mandolins. And pandas will sit on verandas. You'll never think of a queue, said the cat. Did we think of a queue? Quetzals will sit on pretzels. Look at them. Quetzals. Quals will sit on holes. 
Raccoons will sit on macaroons, and a squid can sit on a lid. Turtles? Can you see? Turtles can sit on spurtles. They're like wooden handles, spindles. Ukaris will sit on saris. Vipers will sit on wipers. And wombats will sit on combats. <laughs> Good luck with X, purred the cat. Well, we struggled with X, didn't we? Here we go. X-ray tetra. I think somebody said that. Will sit on seabeds, seaweed, seashells, coral, shipwreck, etc. Clap the frog. X ray tetra. We're so knowledgeable. And here, why? What did you think they had for why? Yaks. And what will yaks sit on? They'll sit on sacks, of course. And just to prove I can think of a Z, zebras will now sit on. Candelabras, a new type of black and white stripy candelabra that I've just invented. Ta-da! My all-new alphabetty body book finished, grinned the frog. Don't forget Zilly Zink Zickers, said the dog. Zilly Zink Zickers sit on pink frilly knickers. Don't be ridiculous, said the frog. There's no such thing as Zilly Zink Zickers. Yes. Don't be absurd, said the cat. Well, what are they then? asked the dog. <laughs> there we go. That was a funny story tonight. Oi, Arvark. I hope you enjoyed that. That was good fun tonight. I like ending the week with um, our alphabet game. We might play another game next time. Uh, I'll think of some other games that we can do during our story time. So thanks for that. And, and thanks to Jim Field and to Kes Gray who have uh, written that book, another book in that great series. Okay, so thanks for joining us, folks. It's been fun tonight. It's been great fun. That's our final story time of the week. But don't forget, as it says along the bottom, we have... Where's the words gone? Where's the words gone? They're going to come back in a moment. Here we go. Join us for Well Done Assembly tomorrow at 1.30pm and we'll send the Zoom link out, put it on Seesaw and Tapestry so that you can come along and find out who has won the house points for the week and who has got the well done certificates for this week as well. So thanks for uh, for joining us. So we'll just, just before we finish, we'll say together our night prayer. I know lots of us are missing our friends and lots of us are missing our families. And we'll ask God to keep each one of them safe and each one of us safe as well. Thanks Anne for popping in, that's good to read that you've had your jab there and um, you'll be looking forward to your second one as well I'm sure. Uh, so let's uh, join together as we say together our night prayer. God our Father I come to say thank you for your love today, thank you for my family and all the friends you give to me. Guard me in the dark of night and in the morning send your light. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great day tomorrow. See you half past one for Well Done Assembly. Bye.